Today on 21st Century Television, explore state-of-the-art technology, innovative business strategies, insights from cutting-edge corporations around the globe, a visionary look into the answers of tomorrow today. Business leaders, business solutions, 21st Century Television. Welcome to 21st Century Business, I'm Jackie Bales. Aerospace companies are always looking for ways to gain a competitive edge, but those are getting more difficult to find. Where can they turn when internal operations have reached peak efficiency and yet the market demands lower prices for higher quality products? Well, to discuss this persistent challenge and the solution their company has to offer is Rob Cohen, CEO of Tect Corporation. Welcome, Rob. Thank you, Jackie. It's a pleasure to be here. Rob, what do you think is the biggest challenge facing the aerospace industry right now? The biggest challenge we face in the aerospace industry right now is managing the significant upturn in the commercial aerospace arena right now in the single and double aisle platforms, while at the same time there's immense cost pressure in our industry, so we've got to stay extremely focused. So on one hand, we're investing for rapid growth in the commercial sector, single aisle and double aisle, but on the other side, we've got to continue to manage cost, and it's a very competitive environment. Oh, I am sure. Tell us more about Tech and who you are and how you're poised to help provide solutions for this. Tech is a privately held company. We have two divisions, Tech Power and Tech Aerospace. Tech Power provides engine components for the engine side of the, the sector, both in aero and land-based. Tech Aerospace provides aerostructure components for the aerospace, commercial, and military applications. Hmm. We've got 11 locations. Ten of those are, are in the United States. One is in Mexico. And we've got 1,200 dedicated employees working for our company. The way we're attacking these challenging times is we're using two approaches. One is our employees. Our people are our most precious asset. So we're uh, spending a lot of time, energy, and money training our employees and upgrading their talents and really fostering good, lean practices in our facilities. The other side is the technology piece. We're investing heavily in automation and technology to drive cost out, not only on the factory floor, but also in the back office uh, services. Hmm. And your customers are? And our customers are all the major OEMs on the engine side of the business, all the major OEMs on the aerostructure side of the business. Impressive. Aerospace industry manufacturers are constantly looking for new technology solutions to deliver products at a lower cost. That's why TechCorp is upgrading their technology footprint through an extensive long-term capital investment plan that will allow them to add more value to the products they manufacture at a lower price. We came up with the term hypervelocity here at uh, Tech Aerospace. Our customers are always anxious for product quickly, cost-effective, as well as in a timely manner. Hypervelocity means a couple of different things to us. We have a machining cell with very high technology machines that allow us to machine parts very quickly, but it's also a process where we can inject material very quickly, develop processes, tooling, produce those parts and deliver them to our customers quickly. TechCorp provides a fully integrated value stream, delivering high quality, reliable aerospace components to their customers in the fastest, most cost-effective manner. Integrated solutions at Tech is key. Uh, the core competency here at this facility is Wing Ribs, uh, one of our uh, large contracts. Uh, the major components are Wing Ribs, but we also offer all of the other details to that full-up assembly because we take full advantage of our other facilities that have those core competencies. Tech Aerospace supplies parts for aerostructures for planes. So the market is very diverse, general aviation, commercial, military, rotary aircraft, where we build parts for wings and for the bodies of airplanes. So very wide opportunity for tech in this industry. We make parts that are monolithic in structure as well as complex assemblies. Monolithic structure is a series of parts that are redesigned to fit into one piece and we're able to machine that one piece. Uh, we're able to do that through the complexity of the equipment that can handle it. If you think of a Red Rider sled, we used to have the old metal slats, the boards that are across it, a lot of different fasteners, screws holding that thing together. It had about 25 to 30 different pieces. The new design would be a single piece, like a one-piece plastic, that's cheaper for the customer and obviously more easy to produce for the manufacturer, so everybody wins. TechCorp prides itself on offering a broad range of products and diversified technologies. Through an investment in innovation, TechCorp leads the industry in operational excellence. 
process engineering and innovation has helped tech deliver operational excellence because it's helped uh, take variability out of our process, which is which is key for us, uh, which in turn builds a more robust process at the end of the day. And uh, all that reduces risk. And uh, we're, in, we're in the business where we don't want risk and our customers don't want risk. So the more we can reduce that variability, uh, the more value that we present. The recent major investments in the Cleveland facility have really been focused on chemical processing. After our forging process, we usually have to remove metal from the surface using acids. And so we put in a brand new, state-of-the-art, fully automated acid stock removal line that provides chemical milling, uh, alpha case removal, blue etch capabilities, which allow us to do our post-forging processing of all our products. Additionally, we're putting in a new molten salt bath line, which allows us to remove coating after forging. These two lines are both fully automated, they're fully EPA compliant, they're automated so that our, our operator is away from the dangerous materials and allows us to have full control of our waste stream after processing. The 12,000 ton press is the workhorse of the Cleveland facility. It's the largest press of its kind ever built. It weighs about two and a half million pounds. We utilize it to forge titanium, aluminum, stainless steel, and nickel alloys primarily for the jet engine business. The, the press is capable of self-monitoring all the important press operating parameters, including tonnage on every blow and it really provides us the ability to forge larger parts for the aircraft engine business that most of our co competitors cannot. Automation sale is extremely important to us here at Tech. It's also very important to our customers as well. It's important to us because it provides us with global competitiveness. Automation sale is important to our customers because it provides them with value. It does run 24-7. Uh, the automation uh, that, our, that our sale has uh, reduces uh, variability in the process and cr creates a more robust process at the end of the day. By leveraging the latest technology and with a commitment to making the best products at the lowest costs, TechCorp is able to keep their clients on the cutting edge while maximizing shareholder value. Rob, what solutions do you have in place to meet the challenges of all these cost reductions now facing the aerospace industry? Well, again, we're using a two-pronged approach. One, we're investing in our people and, and our training and upgrading of our, of our people and our employees and our business. So we're driving lean practices. We have programs such as operational excellence. We're doing several training programs with local universities and trade schools to really significantly upgrade our employee base. On the other side, we're using technology. We're automating all the processes in our business, not only on the shop floor, but in the back office. So all the future investments we make in our company are automation driven, driving out waste and driving out costs in our business. Hmm. What markets do you currently serve? We serve the aerospace marketplace and also the industrial sector. In aerospace, we serve both the airframe and the engine side of the business. Mm -hmm. Do you see any changes to your customer base in the next five years? Our customer base is ever changing, but now what's going on, it's been normal for our OEM friends to have the same technologies we've had. So they've been our competitors all along. But now it's branching down into the tier one and tier two supply base. So really, you've got to be very strategic in how you operate because your customers are always going to be your competitors, so you have to be real strategic. Interesting. So will the markets you serve change then? The markets are changing, and the big change we're seeing is in the military sector. Mm -hmm. Right now with sequestration going on, there's a lot of uncertainty in the military sector that we see, and I think that's going to be ongoing for a while. Hmm. So Rob, what impact will defense spending cuts have on your business? Right now the military portion of our business is about 20 percent of our revenue. It's in two areas, spare parts, and also new make for newer aircraft and newer, newer programs. Mm -hmm. Right now we're already experiencing cutbacks in the spare parts arena and that's going around sequestration and budget cuts. I think in the future what we're going to see is more push outs of new programs and really rate cuts that we're going to see coming down the line because of budget cuts. So it's something we're going to have to really stay focused on and really keep our eye on. Hmm. But it's a positive thing then that it's only 20 percent of your business. That is That's correct. We've differentiated our business and really differentiated our portfolio to protect ourselves and we've got to continue to stay focused on that. Hmm. Are you prepared to acquire businesses in order to meet your strategic growth goals? Our strategic growth goals are very ambitious. Our goal is 15% year-over-year growth. Wow. And of course acquisition is going to be part of that, so yes we are. And what types of companies are you interested in acquiring? The profile of the company that we're looking to acquire would be technology-driven, niche marketplace, some company that can be complementary to the things we do today and really help us keep vertically integrating for our customer to provide value. Hmm. And obviously this requires some investment. Where will the dollars come from to support this growth? The commercial growth will drive that for us. Our commercial business is expanding and growing with the marketplace, of course. 
So that'll fuel and drive that. And also, because we're privately held, every dollar of earnings we have in our company, we reinvest for future growth. Huh. So my last question then is just where do you see tech in the next five years? In the next five years, today we're a $325 million revenue company. You know, I'm very passionate and very excited about this company. In the next five years with our ambitious growth, growth targets, we see ourselves as a $600 million company positioned on the right platforms, poised for future growth. Wow. Well, Rob, it sure sounds like Tech has a strong ability to provide top quality aerospace and industrial components at the best market value in the industry today. So thank you so much for sharing with us. Thanks, Jackie. It's been my pleasure. For 21st Century Business, I'm Jackie Bales. Thanks for watching.